The struggle continues to diversify the Hampton Roads economy, long dependent on defense spending. That dependency gives us a little cushion to land on when the economic bottom began to fall out during the Great Recession of 2008. But 10 years later, how are we doing? 13 News Now anchor Janet Roach kicks off our series of reports examining our recovery and the lessons learned. 10 years later, <laughs> taking heed of the lessons we've learned. This is Simis, a Portsmouth company. Simis standing for Simulation and Information Security. When the economic walls started tumbling down in 2007, Navy vet Johnny Garcia founded this company. I'm the ultimate optimist. Simis was a perfect example of what more than 40% of the Hampton Roads economy was all about, propped up by defense spending. Uh, that's all I did was defense. I did nothing else but defense. And while defense kept this region from crashing, in some ways, it kept us from growing, stifling the need to expedite efforts to find other ways to make money. And we're still feeling those effects today. Where is Virginia at this point? It's a great question. And, you know, we were always and always have been dependent on our military and government contracting. But we need to continue with some urgency to diversify our economy. Think of it like this. While other areas were racing to woo entrepreneurial, technologically skilled workers, economy say Hampton Roads lagged at the starting line. We're still trying to recover all the civilian jobs, 38,400, we lost during the recession. Economists predict the region will gain 3,800 in 2018, still below the peak level in 2007. Which brings us back to Simis, small business of the year. Garcia reinvented his company, embracing the future in technology, robotics, modeling and simulation, artificial intelligence, and more. He marries that skill base with what the military needs, like autonomous ships and digital shipbuilding. We build robotic systems, uh, autonomous systems from um, use of force simulation systems to train police officers, uh, to train soldiers, uh, to robotic boats. Those same skills will guide innovative approaches in almost any industry. We've diversified ourselves well enough in the medical uh, field uh, and also in other parts of a uh, commercial industry. Yeah, raise your right hand up. I get a kick out of experiencing some of Simis video gaming technology in medical training. Begin performing compressions within 10 seconds. Good job, that was great. At 97%. Next up, virtual reality. So now what's gonna happen is a whole bunch of little ships are gonna start coming at you and you gotta start shooting at them. You can't see it, but I'm firing at little round ships that are surrounding me. Could you imagine how we could use this uh, for other type of training? This technology that's being honed in digital shipbuilding could be the same innovation used in creating infrastructure. Information technology, cybersecurity, all those have grown out of the defense industry. So when individuals say, you know, the defense has hindered us, really it's allowed us to focus on other areas. And focus on creating a workforce to keep up. We're actually seeing companies that are really poaching, the private companies are poaching from each other. So again, we still need to build a bigger pool of talent uh, that have these skills for everyone. Janet Roach, 13 News Now.